Creating greeting cards on Ritz Picks is a very easy process, so let's jump right in. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Folding Cards. What you'll see is the option of creating a new card or continuing with the card you've made before. For today, let's create a new card. And uh, as we bring this up, I'm going to use some pictures of my son riding his bicycle for the first time. I think that is a great thing to celebrate. Uh, you'll see that the card size is 5 by 7 and your card can be uh, made in either a landscape orientation or a portrait orientation. Um, for what I want to do today, I'm going to use the landscape orientation and I'm going to go to the next step. And you'll see that the faces of each side along with all the categories that are available to you. Um, I've already chosen one that I think is going to work out best. And so now it's time for me to find the pictures uh, that I need to use. So it's going to load the photo albums and it's going to make sure that it also loads all the backgrounds and clip art that it needs to use for the card. And here we go. Um, and so I found there's my pictures right there. And so it's literally easy as dragging your picture right into the space. And here you go. You're done. Now, what I also do ahead of time is I type out everything I want to say in either the word pad or any other word processor and I copy and paste it right into our text option. Oh, look at that. Look how easy that was. Uh, and you can do that too. And, and that makes things a lot quicker. Now you can't on the standard option, you can't uh, enter text and pictures on every page, um, but you still have, there it is. You still have an option of just entering the text in on where it's appropriate for the standard option and getting the job done very quick and dirty, very easy. But now you have this card that's unique uh, and ready to go in seconds. Um, but for some of us, uh, we want a little bit more. We want to have a little bit more control. We want to be able to do some things a little bit different. So just like with the photo books, you have the option of customizing your card the way you like it. So hit the customize button and a whole new world opens up to you. Now, I like that memory of my son riding his bicycle. So I'm going to make that the background of the card. And I'm going to get rid of all the other distractions that keep you from focusing on my son. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on my son because I see all these vehicles around the place. So let me do that. And now I can really see my son in full glory. Um, you know what? We need to make sure that the text can be seen very easily. So in the customize option, we can actually change the font size and font type um, and even the alignment. So let's make sure we get rid of that little toolbar and you move the text wherever you like it. So that looks pretty good right here. And let's go ahead and change the font type and let's change the font color. Oh, we can see that a little better with white, uh, but still not big enough. So let's go ahead and change the size. And there we go. All right, let's change the alignment though. Um, and yes, that's it. Um, but we're still having a little tough time seeing it. So we can actually add a little background color um, and make sure that the opacity is not too much. And there you go. We put the black background. Ah, now we can see it. You know what? I think a border around that text block would also make sure that text can be seen. And there you go. Uh, we have it. Oh, let's get rid of these shoes and get rid of that ribbon. And there we all, we're almost done, but I think we just need to move it up. Yes, right there. And now we have a custom, the cover of the, of the greeting card is right there with our own words. And let's move on to the, uh, the other text page. That's a little small. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make that bigger. Uh, and so that could be, there we go. But we, it's kind of going off the page. So we need to adjust how wide the text block is so we can include everything that I've written. And I think that center alignment doesn't really look natural. So what we'll do is we'll change that alignment as well. That's it. There we go. It's starting to look a lot better now, um, but it's still a tad big uh, because I can't sign my name very easily. So let's make it a little bit smaller uh, so that, you know, my sister-in-law can see this very easily because this is who the card's going to. Uh, so we'll do that now. Uh, keep in mind that you have, you can do this any way you like it. So the way that I'm doing this doesn't have to be the way that you do it. Uh, so this is not the ultimate way. This is just one of those other options. Now, the great thing you have in Customize is you can add pictures wherever you want to. So I'm going to add another picture of my son riding his bike and kind of make it like a postage stamp kind of at the top right corner. Um, and there you go. I'm going to make that a little smaller um, and I'm going to move around. Now, sometimes the blocks kind of uh, go over top of each other so you can move one out the way 
and here we go. Those are the blue lines to help you line things up. Perfect, perfect. But I need something else. So let me add a little bit of clip art to give it some more personality. Uh, and I think a heart's a great thing to have you know, because I'm sending my logo there. So here we go. Let's create a oh, perfect heart. Uh, and we'll make that a little bit smaller because it's a bit, bit big for the page. And I'll move that where it needs to go. There we go. There's my text page with my message. Uh, and that's done. But you know what? The back is not what I really what I really want. So here we go. Let's put the picture, one of the other pictures there, and make that the background. You see, now the back of this card doesn't have to be blank like the ones you get in the drugstore. Each side of the card can represent memories of that great achievement. Oh, we got one more side that can have another memory. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. A great card representing a great achievement. And it's ready for order. If you have a location near you, it can be picked up within an hour. If not, have it sent to your home. Just like photo books, there is a continue a card option. So the masterpiece that you've created before can be shared with other people, or you can slightly edit it for new memories. It's just another way that Ritz Picks helps your memories tell a story. Greeting cards created on Ritz Picks become keepsakes. They represent the most important people and places and achievements in your life. Let Ritz Picks help you tell your story.